This machine, from what I gather, based on the notes, says that the deck will not lower all the way to set new pins. And they're saying that the deck is not shifting either. So let's turn this thing on and see what happens. I hope it doesn't blow up. Second ball. Ah! Did you guys catch that? Did you? I did. The deck didn't shift. We didn't go all the way down. The scissors opened and closed. So with the deck all the way up on the holding hook, this calls for a high level strike signal in the detector. We're not getting that. We're getting a standing pin signal instead. Uh, so this directly relates to the detector rod. Let's take a closer look. So we're going to go, let's go first ball. Oh, I can't go. Selector. Ugh, don't ever do this. This is not how you do it. Don't do that. That messes up your first ball, second ball light adjustment. Either way. We need to be at 90 degrees strike detection. So let's do that real quick. All right. Don't lose my finger. I need my phalanges. There we go. All right. Stopped on a strike. We actually detected a strike here. You guys can't see your way over there. You can't see anything. Hold on. Hold on. We're up at the detector right now. We're looking through the side cover. Let me pull out a little bit so you guys know exactly where I'm at. Inboard side detector assembly. This is our strike controller. We are at 90 degrees. The bearing has seated right at the low dwell of the cam here at 90 degrees. So this proves we are in time and we are properly detecting a strike. So I'm wondering where this thing is messing up. We got to do a little more research here. All right, we're gonna go through a first ball standing pin cycle. Gonna watch that detector, okay. So that's good, that's what it should do on a first ball standing pin cycle. We're gonna go through, now we're on second ball. So we're gonna go through on a second ball high level strike detection. So that failed second ball high level strike. That cam follower, or pardon me, the strike controller and bearing should have followed the contour of the cam the entire time and it didn't. I don't know why. Not yet anyways. So after all of those detector rod adjustments and failed attempts and trying to see what was wrong in the detector, it finally occurred to me that there might be a bind somewhere. Um, it's not in the D shaft of the detector for the strike controller. It's actually here in the cycle linkage. So if we look in here, if I try and force this backwards, ugh, it takes a lot of effort. That should not take that much effort. You can see how it hangs up. 
So this thing's all sorts of messed up. Look at this uh, pin right here. See how egged out that hole is? That's certainly not helping anything. Um, yeah, this cycle linkage is pretty messed up, man. All right. Well...